So this is baseline. So I'm going to try to get uh, an adequate description from a police officer to what happened here. So you can see baseliners uh, high on emotions because they're low on privilege and they have a poverty of dignity. So if I can get one of the officers over here that is a civil servant of San Francisco in which I have paid hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes into to come and explain to me just what happened, then he will not have to face the social criticism all around him of what they saw when he says nothing but clams up and then never looks good in front of the desk sergeant because that's called a desk job, okay? You're given a gun to get out there and fight crime. Hey guys! I'm gonna have to get across the street. This is very difficult because I'm in a fucking wheelchair. This also takes bravery. Can you get me across the street? No, no, no. It's gotta go off the not off the ass. Not off the ass. Yeah, yeah. And don't worry, they will not fuck oi, with you. Oi. Oi. No one will fuck with you with this in my hand. So just go, just back up. I just want to talk to a cop. I'm not trying to get mad. Just, just get a go. Go right across the street. They got the lights on. Ain't nobody gonna run him over. I have no open container. There's nothing I can do, and I have no weapon. I want to see what this guy has to say. He's not in there. Yeah, give me, yeah, no, give me the easiest. I'm just saying, is there anything they're talking about, my dog? I have no idea. No, just like, I'm trying to find a human body in one of these things. All right, all right, that's cool. Let's back out and just find me one cop, a walking cop. I know I did. They do this on purpose just to be fucks. Because they assume Look at them. that we have... Look off the goddamn handicap accessibility. That they, that they have no... Uh, they, no regard. They assume we have no recourse no to the law. Regard. Yeah, hold on. Don't push me too hard. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, because my glasses go flying. That's what I was using. Though. No, they assume we have no recourse to the law. Look at this man. He's drinking a beer outside. That is technically illegal, but... He won't lose his job tomorrow. You know what I mean? Don't move to my man. Uh, can you get me up here? Yeah, go, go, go. I know it's a bitch. Let me help you, please. Yes, go, 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 go. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Just don't put me in the ambulance. Hang on. Oh, I want to go talk to him, right? Just go right at him. Can I talk to you real quick? Oh, you guys are busy. You want to wait out here until they're finished? Um. Oh, I want to talk to him. Hey, dude. No, this guy knows who I am. What happens? I'm gonna let you. Hear. I got stuff to do. I gotta hold. All right, go ahead. You can split. Thanks a lot, dude. Hey man, how are ya? Hey, so dude, what did he do? He just got too fucked up? I mean, just explain to me. I mean, everyone has their own dumb opinion, and everyone hates cops. And okay. So I, I don't. don't. I like cops. So you, um, you asked to speak to one of us? Yes, I'm American journalist Dan Neal. I'm a reporter for the New York Times and for New York Press. Okay. I also work for the San Francisco Observer. I'm also running for mayor right now. Great. Well, All I, I want to know is what, what happened here? Because everyone had like 15 different opinions of like, oh, the cops came in and just beat somebody up. I don't believe that. I don't believe any of the negative things that are said about you because you don't have... If you ask me the, the proper guidelines of what to do, so you have to make it up on your own. What is your opinion of this and what happened here? Okay, I mean, so what, number one, what happened here? So, we got a call of an individual lighting 
stuff on fire down at Hayton Ashbury. Great. Um, we're, we obtained the description. We're in there looking for the uh, individual. Officers spotted an individual who looked, uh, who matched the description. They tried to talk with him, he immediately took off running. Got him. What was he lighting on fire? Well, we're still investigating that. We're talking to the person who called. The officers are talking to the person who called the police and we're trying to figure that out, obtain more. Uh, so that's, evidence. that's, that's, uh, that's uh, the gist of it. So, uh, so that's attempted murder. What is it? I mean, would it be a manslaughter? No. What would it be? Lighting the place on fire and killing well, them. Okay. I don't know what was lit. Because uh, people I need still, to understand what you guys are up against, too. Okay, like I said, we're still figuring things out, but that's the gist of it right now. Okay, so okay. he's in the house. He's, he's not well, he's free person. He's in custody person. right now. He's in okay. custody. Yeah. Right. He'll be assigned to an, an he's not attorney? He's right now, so. Yeah. Right, well, he's, it's, it's evolving. All right, evolving. gotcha. No, we understand civics. Hey, listen, thank you for talking to me. No worries. No I appreciate it. Thanks for asking. Anytime. Make sure you Google my name, Dan Neal Novels. It's an enormous waste of time. <laughs> everyone is always a good guy if everyone is just honest with each other. Okay? We all face the same problems, all right? And all of us pretty much don't give a shit at the same time. So, we need to begin to dismantle society in a way that makes it less manageable, that makes it less accountable, that makes it less of a spreadsheet experience and more of a bedsheet experience. Spaceline.